we have seen that Professor Desai was told many problems about the school by different teachers. Now, how will Professor Desai solve these problems? Certainly, she does not have a magical stick to solve all these problems. She needed to go step by step. Professor Desai and her team analyzed, studied all problems in detail. Then, they designed two, three different plans to go about so as to solve most of the problems. After designing two, three plans, they discuss feasibility of these plans. After carefully discussing, they came out with a conclusion that plan C is the most feasible plan to implement. Here their implementation started. This plan was about various components of that school system. So, their implementation involved many phases. This plan had various stages, phases to implement. And therefore, entire execution was made for about two years. After two years, what happens? At the end of every phase, what happens? Somebody needed to evaluate that and for that, the team also planned evaluation strategies. So, the execution started and along with that, evaluation started which was giving feedback to the entire team. According to this feedback, there were some changes after phases and also at the end of two years, there was rigorous evaluation to see the impact of the whole execution. Professor Desai and her team applied systems approach. This approach which Professor Desai and her team used had specific stages. As you see, there was analysis of existing components by exploration, then designing of three, four alternative plans, selection and implementation of the most feasible plan, evaluation of the plan, feedback and improvement in the existing plan. As I said, the approach which Professor Desai and her team followed was a systems approach. To understand what a systems approach is, we first need to understand what a system is. Let us see what a system means. Here you can see some examples. Observe these examples carefully and find out, think of some common characteristics, some common elements which exists in all these examples. There is a dam, a clock, digestion organs, computer, library and swimming pool. What similarity do you observe in all these entities? Think for a while. You may think of some answers. Let us see what you are thinking about. Do you realize that there are some common aspects? For example, all these are entities. All these have some parts or components. These examples achieve some goals. They all work towards these goals and even their components systematically function towards the same goals. Some of their components possess own subcomponents. For example, a computer may have a monitor, keyboard. Keyboard again has function keys, numerical keys, alphabetical keys. CPU has many components in it. It has motherboard, processor which we actually call as a CPU, power box, RAM chips, hard disk, CD drive. These entities function in input processing output manner. For computer, you provide some input. For digestion system, you provide some input. Then there is processing and then there is output. All these are examples of a system. They all are systems. They all have some parts and they all function towards some goals. Let us see these characteristics once again. So, system is an entity. System has components. System is goal oriented. Input processing output happens in any system and system exhibits equifinality. Some of you might be stuck at the term equifinality. What is equifinality? Let us see that. 
Equifinality is the property of allowing or having the same effect or result from different events. This meaning is given in Merriam-Webster dictionary. So you understand that the result of all alternatives is the same or we may say that all components, everything, all approaches are moving towards the same direction. Finally, same goal is to be achieved. Equifinality principle was designed by Ludwig von Bertland Fee, the author of systems theory. Equifinality principle says, in the system there are many different ways of achieving the desired state. So, we have seen all common characteristics of a system. Now, we need to learn and understand how systems approach actually works. So, whatever Professor Desai and her team implemented, executed, we will see theory behind it.